beautiful song today. It says, You were, you are, evermore shall be the living word. So we join as the angels sing.
Tasha and Kenny, so good to see you. Jimmy. Oh, so yes. good to be Great here. Great seeing you. I love talking about these new songs that y'all been working on. You've been working so hard. Congratulations with this Thank album. Thank you. Thank you. It's so special. And um, just the fact that these songs were really inspired, you know, by these old hymns for the church. Mm -hmm. It's really special. I yeah. Kenny, I love what you said a minute ago of just bringing that rich history of the church back in, but creating something new and fresh and out of the box with the song. Mm -hmm. Uh, but talk a little bit about this song, Holy. I, I think you work on this with Vernie Herms and Jonas Myron. Yes. Two the wonderful greats. guys. Ooh, <laughs> legends. Yes, V. Yeah. <laughs> but talk a little bit about the song and just what inspired it. Yeah, you, you want to start? Sure. Um, I think I think for, for this particular song, no matter what iteration we hear of it, it demands a reverence. Mm -hmm. It demands it because of um, the the intentionality in God being the only one that's holy. There's yeah. nobody else that can say I'm holy. Mm. And so it requires a, a level of, of uh, sanctification and a level of like honor. So when I hear this song, I, I felt that like when we approached it musically, it was, it's still a very, very intentional, direct, reverence of God. You hear the pads and the the strings and everything that you think of when you think of majesty, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And it's all encapsulated into this one song and it's bookend by Agnes Day, oh. which Whew. I can remember the very first time I heard that song. It was my first like big concert that I attended and it was Mercy Me on stage singing Agnes Day and I remember wow. seeing a sea of probably about 10,000 worshipers singing this song and I I didn't know the name of the song I didn't know I just felt it right mm -hmm. and that's what I, mm -hmm. I, I get from this song you you really feel the majesty you feel in all of this is in all the earth in all the world there's one person one person that we worship and he's holy that's mm -hmm. it wow. yeah for me creatively i'm always thinking um in when we're pulling together an album i'm always thinking you know outer court inner court holy place mm -hmm. like it's it's uh, wow. each realm is i want i want to make sure that we provide something for the church for each space in your services or each space in your home, wherever you may be. If you're cleaning up, you got an out of court song for that, you know. But this was that holy place, that holy moment mm. where we've, we've cleared out all of the clutter 
And even getting to like the drive of the song, we felt like we don't want to do too much, mm. you know, just 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 to talk about his holiness and how pure, mm. you know, that he's the only one who's holy. And this song, it just and even going into Agnes Day, you know, I thought the whole time I was thinking, man, I don't have a cover, <laughs> you know, I don't have a cover. And we were writing this song with Bernie and Jonas, and we be, it, the power of God yeah. just took over in the studio. Oh, yeah. And each of us just started singing Agnes Day. And I looked at him and I said, that's it. Mm, you know, that's wow. it. You know, and so we went into that that moment. This is the holy place moment on the album. And you can really, really sense the presence and the weight and the glory of God, you know, on this moment. It doesn't require a lot. You know, when he's present, there's not so much more we need to do. Yeah, and I, and right. I think that's what this song, it just captures that. Yeah. Yeah. And this song reminds me of that Revelation 4 passage. You know, you get that picture of Jesus mm -hmm. and you've got the... The creatures and the elders are all around, and they're they're casting their crowns before the throne. Yeah, yeah. you know, and just that act of of taking something that was was given to you, this crown of life, but you're giving it, laying it down at Jesus' feet, yeah. like and and that whole you know, you alone are worthy to receive yes. honor, power, and glory. It's just such a beautiful thing to sing about. It's such a powerful thing, as you yeah. said, Kenny. It's just it's just reverent, you know, yeah. when when we yeah. sing about that and um, and bring the church. I love that, Tasha. Those. There's songs that kind of minister those things, mm -hmm. but that's yeah. just really, really special. Yeah, wow. Yeah, got to reach them in every space that you're in, no matter what your season is. If you're in a high season, there should be something on this compilation of music that you can listen to. And if you're in a low season, wow. you know, if you just want to go to the throne of grace, you can turn on holy <laughs> and it'll take you there. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you all so much for sharing these songs with us. Just can't wait for the church to be able to sing these. And so yeah. thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you. Say, oh, yeah.